At five, and Hollyoaks babe Emma Rigby is newly single and has Hollywood in her sights. She's no longer a wag and has dumped Doncaster Rovers boyfriend Matthew Mills, according to the News of the World. She'll stay on the soap till November, then she's off to America. Good luck to her. At four, and Star Trek star and thespian Patrick Stewart says he wants more big theatre productions outside of London. He's been Jean-Luc Picard in Star Trek, Macbeth, and now he's on stage with Sir Ian McKellen in Waiting for Godot. He's been on tour across the UK before he goes to the Theatre Royal in London, and he says it's been a terrific experience and he wants to see more of it. At three, and Kerry Katona is hitting the headlines again with more emotional turmoil. She's reportedly grief-stricken after discovering her long-lost real father has died. She found 62-year-old Ron Armstrong last year through a private eye and had been planning to get in touch, but the News of the World says he sadly died of cancer. At two, and Sir Paul McCartney has made a moving tribute to his late wife Linda. He was appearing at a festival in the Californian desert and dedicated two songs to her. The former Beatle played in front of 55,000 people at the Coachella Music Festival. The Long and Winding Road and My Love to Linda were played for the woman who died of breast cancer in 1998. And at one, it's singing sensation Susan Boyle. Who else? Her fame train keeps on rolling and the messages of support keep rolling in too. Susan says she's always dreamed of being as successful as singer Elaine Page and now she's got her direct support. As well, the politicians are offering their backing. Scotland's First Minister Alex Salmond has sent a letter of support. But hey, that's not the best news for her. Get this, she's going on a hot dinner date with Britain's Got Talent judge Piers Morgan. Lucky her.